That's so good, so good, so good. <gasps> What's up, y'all? It's Stacey Edge. We back with another extra video. Today, y'all, we got Latavia Robertson talk struggles with addiction after Destiny's Child and plays I Know You line. Let's get into it. What's up, go. everybody? It's your boy Terrell. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being <laughs> here. This week is more. very exciting. She's a mother, uh -huh. she's an actress, and she might be one of the founding members of one of the biggest musical groups of all time. I want y'all to put y'all hands together for Latavia Robertson. <laughs> Welcome to the show, my Thank love. Thank you, my darling. I am so glad you are here. I am so glad that you have me here. You are fabulous and beautiful. Thank Clap you. again for the... <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all see this here? I don't know what y'all ladies are doing in these bathrooms Angel when you are <laughs> slathering these oils and moisturizers and creams on your faces. Yes. What? Y'all look, all of you, beautiful. Thank you. Gorgeous. Thank you. And ain't never gonna change. Listen. <laughs> Thank you, Black Jesus! Thank you, Black Jesus! <laughs> First of all, we got Houston in the house. Give it up for Houston. Okay. okay. H -town. H Town. Oh, you rep your city. Oh, I know that's Why right. Why not? And we met in Houston. Yes. Which we were we met at Houston, y'all, at the Renaissance show. We had a time. Oh my goodness. That was a good time, it was. Latavia. I was so sweaty by the time <laughs> I left <laughs> that NRG stadium. <laughs> I mean, I danced my life away. And I saw you too, you was getting it. I, but yeah. you had to stand on the chair because you're short. Oh, I can't say that part. <laughs> Growing up in Houston, you must have been a kid of the arts, the kid of entertainment. Because at eight years old, you auditioned for Destiny's Child. Was it that early? Well, my mother always knew that I was somebody that was going to be in entertainment mm. because my mother was one of the first African-American females to um, open up a nail salon. Oh. And that unique nail still stands today in oh, Houston, on, Texas. mama. Yes. Okay. Good for that. I love yeah. that. <laughs> hey, mama. Hey, hey, mama. <laughs> And she said, Latavia, you're going to be an entertainer. Well, she just always, I always had a knack for acting. Mm. I always wanted to be an actress. I never wanted to be a singer. I never, that was not what was in there. So right. my mother um, got me with, you know, acting coaches. And I started doing press work. I started doing modeling shows mm -hmm. and all that. And through my modeling agency is how I ended up getting the audition for the group that finally became Destiny's Child. Because at first it was Girls Time. Yes, correct. T-Y-M-E. Oh, T-Y, don't you spell it with that I. <laughs> That's not how you spell it. <laughs> Respect it now, yes. girls, T-Y-M-E. Yeah. What do you think that they saw in you that made them go, we won't hurt? I think that they saw in me that no matter what, that I had a personality. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I was sassy. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I had a mouthpiece. Still do. Me. Love it. <laughs> Don't try her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it again. She still does. Say it one more Don't time. Don't try her. She one still more does. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was a dancer uh -huh. in the group, and then I became a rapper. Then my career, as far as the group that became Destiny's Child, mm -hmm. shout out to Pikachu. My career evolved. We were cliche. We were Destiny. We were Destiny. Then we ended up being Destiny's Child. We had so many different. Cliche names. was one of the names. Yes. So, Girls Time Cliche. Were there more? Um, uh, um, the doll, the, the something fresh, something, something fresh. fresh, the dolls. Oh, yeah, I love this. Then it was Destiny, and then Destiny's Child. What? Why did it go from Destiny to Destiny's Child? Was it the ages? You, no, I don't think it was that. It was just that we had been together, and I think the camaraderie between all of the girls mm -hmm. we had started to love each other. We prayed together so much oh, and all yeah. that, and so we would pray. And uh, Miss Tina in the Bible, um, it was a picture of us, and. Destiny was one of the names that mm -hmm. she saw in that scripture. And we became Destiny. And then once we got our record yes. label, they were like, okay, y'all are Destiny, but now this is a rebirth mm. of Destiny. So we became Destiny's child. 
Mm. Oh, y'all yeah. hate that. That's a story. It was really okay. a thing, and it is true. We, Matthew, we would have to jog, make sure that our harmonies were together and all that as we were running so we can get the endurance up for when we were on stage. Every summer, we would definitely have, like, a boot camp. And basically, this summer, we would be there together. We yes. would wake up, we would work out. We were on a schedule every day. Even when Matthew wasn't there, we were there. We did it ourselves. We made up our own dance routines. We did all that. Why are we watching Say by the Bell, too? We, oh, come on. We, we, look, we could not. Look, look y'all were children. We could not miss Say by the Bell. Now, listen now. Come on, Zach Morris. Who didn't want to be Zach Morris? Did you have a crush on Zach? Girl, right, listen. Get down with the swirl, honey. <laughs> <laughs> they don't develop artists like this no more. They don't do, I'm gonna say, say it, it again. okay? They don't, right now, they all don't. you need to do is to go find popularity somewhere <laughs> else and then find your way into a studio, hum, whisper. I love how Terrell speaks up about this because yeah. it is so true. There is like a handful, maybe a little over a handful of actually good artists. Yeah. You Not know what that, I'm saying? Whether it's hip hop, R and B, it don't yeah. matter no more. You know what I'm saying? Like now, all you need is a following on Instagram, TikTok, somewhere, and for people to hype you, and then boom, you're an artist. Right. But to really, really, really be good. Back then you had to be good. It's very few that I can I would not, there's not many people from this day and age that I feel like could compare to anybody from, mm -hmm. you know, anywhere else. Very few. Very few. Very few. Mumble something of the effect on a track <laughs> and then you might end up getting the Grammy Award for best song of the year. That's just how it's just different. Y'all had to get in line and in step with yeah, how to it, be an entertainer it, it is, and a good one. It is totally different. Like, we, I mean, it was rehearsal, 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 rehearsal. Even once we did get our record deal, it was rehearsal mm -hmm. and for like eight hours. Mm -hmm. And then we do it. wake up the next day. It was the same thing. Yes. And so we had to be on... We had to be on point. Yeah. You already were gifted, but you had to hone that gift. You had to yes. develop that skill. Oh, Lord. You weren't just thrown out there and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all like her. She cute, right? Go ahead, sing a little something. No, it's like, no, no. You're going to get up there and you're going to actually do a good job. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back to more Destiny's Child. Yes. But I'm going to introduce this game. Oh, okay. Lord. Okay. Yeah. Oh, pull it up, pull it up. Watch you about to fall out. Latanya, we play a little game here, and here are the rules. I'm gonna give you a word, and when I give you that word, you're gonna have to sing the first song that comes to your head with that word in the lyrics or the title of the song. How do you feel about that? I don't She goes great! <laughs> I don't have any feelings. <laughs> well, I don't have the time right there. I'm gonna say, hey, Roxy. Hey, hey Roxy, girl. Now, she loves that little buzzer, so if you run out of time, she gonna get that ass. I'm gonna make sure she get it as much as possible. <laughs> here we go. First one, we're gonna start you off easy, okay? The word <clears throat> is yeah. Y-E-A-H. Yeah. No, don't no, 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 no. When it's really yeah, 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 yeah. You be saying no, 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 no. When it's really yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, but yeah! <laughs> okay. Sing your hit now. Sing your hit. <laughs> what a moment that had to be for you. I want you to go back in time to, Ooh, let's got say, because you know, radio <laughs> back that. then was, you could not, being on the radio was everything. Mm -hmm. The pinnacle of the goal. Yeah. Where were you the first time it came on? And what was your reaction? Okay. The first time the No 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 came on the radio, uh -huh. we were in Houston, of course. Yes. H Town. H Town. Uh, I think we, I guess we were listening to 979, uh -huh. but we had went to go get Solange from school. Okay. Solange was in middle school. Uh -huh. And Solange cool. came out and No 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 came on the radio. Uh -huh. So it's me, Kelly, Beyonce, and Latoya. We like yeah. in the car. I think we was in like a Honda, I think we was in a, we, I think, no, we were Toyota Camry, I think. Yeah. So we go to pick her up. 
And so it came on the radio, and when Solange came out, we turned the radio up as far as it could oh go up. God. And Solange came out, we let her hear. She's like, my sister, that name is my radio. We let Solange be on that radio. Oh my God, I love it. We were, we were outside of her middle school, like, and it was yes. a, it was a pivotal moment for us. We we were like all our praying together, mm. like all of that, like that's incredible. We made it. Like it seems like faith has always been a good through line for Destiny's Child. We used to have this um, prayer book called um, Prayers That Avail Much. Mm, and we used, to, uh, we used to always get together and we would pick our prayers and then we would say a prayer together with how we were feeling that day along with Miss Tina and my mother. And we would just always go through that book and pick out a prayer and then we would pray together and no matter what we always pray together like regardless mm. of what ended up happening yeah. like i said you know life is life but we pray together wow. and just like they say that a family that prays together stays together and so that's why i believe that no matter what we did work hard people are like oh my gosh they were an overnight success mm. no it took us eight years that was a wow to get a record deal. Each mm -hmm. of you refer to each of you as sisters, right? Mm -hmm. And even when um, we was all partying together in Houston at the show, it, I was just looking out and it just looked like the family just... It was... How often do you guys get to get together like that? You know what? It, it's... You know, it, it's hard for me. I, I really could not tell you the answer to that question mm -hmm. um, because before I saw you in Houston at yeah. the Renaissance concert, um, I hadn't seen Beyonce since 2018. Mm. And so it had been like, you know, five years. Yeah. And just for us all to be in the same room together was it was Had just it was magical, regardless of what nobody saw after mm. the concert. It was just it was love. Oh, I loved it. it and for it to love. be in the Houston show yes. was insane. Yes. I was quite happy to be in the number. It was phenomenal. <laughs> and I'm sorry to tell you, for the rest of your life, anytime any of you guys are together, it's going to be a thing. Okay? It's going to wait, 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 wait. We can't do nothing about that. Right. No, we right. cannot. We cannot. We can't change destiny, honey. Oh, oh. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She said. <laughs> she said what she said. We can't change destiny. It's meant to be. Yes. Here's your next word. The word is good. Really? I don't think you sing anything. You don't have to be your own song. My son sings that song. Oh, good. What? What? How it go? <laughs> so good, so good, so good. I know you, I hate, know it. you hate it, but, but I, I so good, so good, so good. <gasps> Woo! Your son got this taste. Is, this is for them haters that said we wouldn't make it. I used to hate. Mm -hmm. when, well, what we all hated was people. Uh, 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 is it uh, back? Uh, he I'm back. Have to clap her, clap off yeah. it. <laughs> Y'all, there's a gnat that just really loves Latavia and myself Listen, today. Listen, they like that. They like that sweet. They like that sweet juice. I think your sweet they, juice. They like. They, okay. they like these sweet juices. She did, is I, did, I eat pine, did I eat pineapples yesterday? <laughs> what is wrong with her? I do love a good pineapple. Uh -huh. Yes, it does wonders. You should try the, the, the coochie does yeah. too. Hey, you know what I'm <laughs> I was gonna let them wonder what the wonder was, the time here. Damn. I'm a realist. <laughs> Listen, I'm... Uh, get it. I don't get it. Did you get it? No. <laughs> We've you never given this it. word in the history of the show. Oh, well, it's really not even a word. Okay. It's more of a time. The word is 11.30. You better stop giving her hints, damn it, before you out. I like it when start dancing. Even my is not letting me you know what, what that is. Oh, that is my, 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 my polyphala. <laughs> polyphala. Yeah, that's what you use it, my polyphala. 11.30, you got it. It's a good time. Stuff starting to get real fun at 11.30. Yeah. Uh huh. That club is going at eleven thirty, girl. The club is jumping. Oh my gosh! I feel so stupid. Oh my god! I feel stupid. Yeah. No, it's eleven thirty. Oh, oh god! It's it's. Oh my gosh! It's right here. It's right there. It's right here. It's right there. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> Boom, ladies, leave them. I got a meeting in the ladies' room. No. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, leave him at the house. Ladies, leave your man at home. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, leave your man at home. Because it's 1130 and the club is jumping, jumping. <laughs> Don't you say you got a girl? Yeah, you got a girl. But the party ain't gonna stop. So let's make it high, high. <laughs> <laughs> And Latavia, a good time. Okay. Yeah, it took two years. It but took, some, it took mean, some time, but yeah. you got there. The club yeah. is jumping, jumping. Yeah, okay. Question for you, though. What club <laughs> do I want to know? Were you able to witness <laughs> in the eighth grade? You sound like Keen Peel, but I got an answer for you. What it was? We used to go to the club. What, what club let y'all in? That's that Hollywood no, shit. No, it ain't that Hollywood <laughs> shit. No, it's that H-Town shit. That's that hood shit. shit. Okay. okay. That's that hood shit. I was about to say. Because, let me tell you something. Look, they got to say something when I say something. Let me tell you, them, 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 our kids used to be in the club, Let okay? Let me tell you something. If you, if you from if you a know place the right people, and you you can... <laughs> you can make it do what it do. Okay. You can party with the with the rest of them. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. You ain't got to be left out. What the rail say? You could be we in that number. Have, like, okay. teenage clubs. Oh, really? Yes. They didn't. Like, I went to teenage 18? club before. Yes. They I did. ain't never they heard of no shit was, like that. See, me and baby done sat up here and told y'all. We know she was talking about teenage club. But it's some kids well, who be getting in them adult clubs now. Nah. Don't let them fool you because I know they're no still alcohol. doing it. Yeah. And that full DJ What's at the bar? Charlie Pat Callers? I love that for y'all. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> was it dark or was it like something? It was on? dark. I was in a teenage club, club. Well, a teenage oh, party that was in a club. I did. It's the 90s, baby. Oh, oh. Yep, the best time ever. See, we didn't, in South Carolina, we didn't have no teenage clubs. We, well, we, we just had Bible study. Would your grandmother <laughs> have let you, like, travel the world, though? Instead of going to Bible study? My, at what age? I, at y'all's age? No, y'all had a good little setup. <laughs> <laughs> y'all had a good little setup. I could not move. Baby. Baby, 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 don't you know that you're so fine? Yeah. Sing it. <laughs> when you're growing up in this industry, you're making friends along the way. Who are some of your favorite celebrity, or not even celebrity, just other music artists that you that you personally befriended as you were becoming a superstar? Ooh. Nope. And uh, by yourself. <laughs> You just, just y'all. Okay. Uh. <laughs> it's it's really kind of hard to distinguish between who a friend was. And I'm mm. the person that in this industry, me in particular, my friends were the girls that I started in this industry with. Mm. And then for that to like go away. It's kind of hard to make friends when you made friends and you grew up with somebody and then we were kids. Mm. So then when you get older, you don't understand, you don't know particularly who wants to really be your friend mm. or not. And that's a really hard space. Let's talk a little bit about post Destiny's Child, like right after. We all know mm. the story about what had happened. We don't need to go through it all. Blah, blah, blah. Do you um, really? Oh, 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 I thought we had known. <laughs> you got more to say about it? I don't know. You got a question? Well, okay, fine. I'll ask you the question then, Latavia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From what I understand, uh, you and Latoya wanted different management because at the time, Matthew was managing all of you guys. Okay, I'm already wrong. Yes, you are. Then, then break it down. No, we didn't what want different management. Mm -hmm. We just simply wanted um, to get a business manager to come in on top of that, to just make sure that we were all taken care of. You as a, a half of the group, you cannot fire the manager. Nobody ever wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. And it was said, even by management, that that, it's ludicrous. You can't fire the Bruce manager. We didn't try to do that. Mm. What I did was disaffirm, because we had separate contracts. I disaffirmed my personal contract. Right. It wasn't firing the Bruce manager. We could not do that. Right. But it was to be able to be able to be heard. Because mm. when you're told certain things like 
or you don't do enough in this room to have a voice mm. um, to speak, then sometimes you have to go through um, different channels, different measures. Mm. That was the whole gist of that. Mm -hmm. And then things went a different way. I did not leave Destiny's Child. Who in the fuck leaves Destiny's Child? You gotta be out your rabbit and <laughs> smile. <laughs> I know that's to, right. To do something yeah. like that. Who does that? But um, it was strictly business yeah. for me. Even at that young of an age, that's all that it was for me. It mm. was nothing else. There wasn't beef with me and the girls or mm. anything like that. So was it just the, the request to add in the business manager that made them go, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and remove you out of the situation, or was it uh, a, a back and forth over time? Um, your guess is as good as mine, I don't know. Mm. I looked up and saw a Say My Name video on the screen. Wow. Yeah. So there was no conversation ever about a termination? It was just, you saw the video, and then you, you called in and said what happened, or what? We were told that there was gonna be a conversation, and that conversation never happened. It was world premiere, say my name video. Right, right, right. After that, where are you in your mental headspace? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, like you said. Where would you be? <laughs> now, why everybody's skipping over this other one? <laughs> because did you see the fourth girl on the left? I don't wonder who the hell that was. I think she was there for three days. <laughs> I remember, because it was four, it was four, then it was four, four with two new ones, and then, and then three was... days later, it was three. Nobody ever said what happened to... We don't even know the other girl's name. What the hell her name be? <laughs> I what? So y'all just gonna act like she didn't exist? <laughs> I'd be pissed. I don't give a damn if I... would be speaking out on every okay. interview. I don't give a damn if I was there for 30 minutes. You better say my name and something. <laughs> I was in the Say My Name video. This you was, I was about to say this. You was going to say my name. Say my name video. Be pissed. I'm at the write a letter. Very fair. <laughs> you said, you know, who in the world would, would leave it, right? Yeah. But at, in the, the reality of it, you got pushed out of it. So that had to still have the same effect of what in the hell is am I going to do now? That... And that was my mental, that was my mental headspace. Mm -hmm. Well, what, like, is this real? Mm. What am I gonna do now? Mm. This is all I've known. Mm. So, it, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. The one thing I do know is that God don't make no mistakes. No. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it was, of course it was heartbreaking, mm -hmm. but you know. What was your, what was your new prayer? You prayed so much for this thing to happen and for it to find success, and it did. So after it was, you know, over for you, what was your new prayer? Lord, what next? Mm -hmm. I did not know what to expect. I didn't know which direction my life was gonna go. It was almost like I was the mistletoe at Christmas and being dangled like, oh my gosh, somebody please come and kiss me. Mm. Like. You never released any of your own solo music. Why not? No. Because I was never the person, and I told you before, I never wanted to be a singer mm. like that. Yeah. That could have been God's bliss. I wanted to be an actress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And at that point, like I said, I didn't know. I wasn't going to throw myself into an industry to where I was feeling some kind of way. Mm -hmm about my life and didn't know which turn it was going to take. Yeah. I had no idea. So I just started living in my own head. God is mysterious. You never wanted to be a singer. You basically got pushed out of all you had known. Even though in your heart, you never wanted to be a singer. Mm -hmm. God is mysterious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's mysterious. Mm. Getting myself into trouble and doing a whole lot of stupid shit. You got in your own way a little bit, huh? Yes, I did. We've been talking about that all season long. This is the perfect week of guests to talk in season six about getting in your own way sometimes. It happens. Yes, it is it not 
I don't think anybody gets to leave this earth without getting in their own way <laughs> one or two times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or more. You were going through a really mm-hmm. rough time. Um, you didn't know what to pray for. What what gave you comfort? Alcohol, drugs, mm. um, being in my own space, um, exclude myself mm-hmm. from society, self-sabotage. Mm. That's where I was. People wonder like, well, what happened to you for like 20 years? I was underneath my own rock. I can't imagine that. Mm-hmm. I, 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 you can't. I, I'll never be able to, because it to be a founding member and to then you have to just watch it happen without you. I, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I didn't watch it happen. Mm. I sat in my house, and I watched the back of my eyelids mm. on my own time by myself, and it was one of the most horrible times um, of my life Mm -hmm. that lasted um, maybe a little longer, but definitely a decade. Oh. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was no good to anybody around me or to myself at all. I ended up in and out of jail. I was kind of what crazy. What did jail for? What? <laughs> what? What didn't I go to jail for? Hey, baby, let me, look, let me tell you something. I oh my you, God. Who's that girl? La, 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 Ties that girl. Hey. La, 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 la. Yes. Like, I have to laugh about it now. You do, yes. Be- laugh to keep from crying when you're all time. It is. It is something that I literally had to deal with. Like I said, in and out, girls want, and then it wasn't like, oh, you just go in and you gotta go sleep something off. Mm. No, I got spells. I was in jail three times, wearing the orange jumpsuit. You wore like, the whole it, jump, you was orange and you black in it? What? Listen. Okay, I need a crazy jail story. I, need, I just have to, I've never had one before. Okay, <laughs> and I just would like to have a crazy jail story. Well, um, okay, well, I don't know what's so crazy, me being in there or when they finally realized who I was when I was in there, my third my third time that I was in there. What did they tell? How did oh, that go? Oh, they were oh, they were talking like, oh yeah, we didn't hurt that girl from Destiny Child, but we gonna whoop her ass. Ooh, shit. No, no jump, jump, yeah. We were in the same clothes. That's... I ain't got on Balenciaga. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, no Terrell shit. is hilarious. <laughs> Then he said, oh, shit, this is going to jump you. <laughs> in the backspace. Oh, shoot. It. They going to jump, jump you. We were in the same you. clothes. I ain't got on Balenciaga and like. Right. Oh, man, like, I, like. You get the Balenciaga jumpsuit. I'm just saying, like, they said, you do rich people drugs. I I was like, uh, I was like, uh, what? I was like, what is rich people who trust? They were like, you store coke, don't you? I was about to I say need a book from you because this is quite a. What is uh, the story? Yeah, she needs to write and a book. I know what I'm saying. I know that is book. sprinkling. That is sprinkling the surface. Uh, there's so much more on on this card here. <laughs> I even, um, I, first of all, I did not know that you had such a trying decade of your life. Oh, th- that was just the first decade, uh, but the the last two have been trying to, honey. The last two years? No, decades. The last 20 years? Yes, darling. Because if I wanna, if I'm, if I'm, my years are right, Destiny's Child, the album came out 25 years ago. Yes. So you're saying the last 20 years? Yeah, and I'm not saying that I was in jail. Like, right, right, right. No, but not, you've had, you've had a time. It, it, it's been, yeah, over, over the last, two decades, yeah. it's been something. And like for me to be sitting here and like with you and being able to talk about it and every single time that I talk about it, it's not making me cry anymore. Mm. It is a part of my story. Mm. It's a part of my destiny, you know, honey. Come on. Listen, that can't is, nobody. That is, it's a saying that one of these days I'm gonna get it tatted, but it's today's trials, it's tomorrow's testimony. Yep. And as devastated as she probably was to not be in Destiny's Child. And then 
to go through what she went through with self-sabotage because that's not an unusual thing. All she knew was being in that group. Mm -hmm. And now y'all just pushed her out. Not even a situation where Mm -hmm. it was a conversation that was had. You just got pushed out. And then you just... And now you just somebody else in your spot. Yeah. And you like, okay, now what? So, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not surprised by that. But, and like she said, you know, laugh to keep from crying and you have to laugh at it because like she said, it's, it's part of your story now. Mm -hmm. That's part of your story. It happened and you have to own that Mm -hmm. whether or not it was caught, you know, taking accountability, the bad, that she, she accepts that she made bad decisions and it happens. Yep. And so you can be, like she said, I feel like you have to go through all of that accepting and knowing that you caused this, but it is a result of this and blah, blah, blah. And now you can sit and talk about it without crying because you already accepted it. So Thanks. she definitely, that definitely can be somebody's, you know, encouraging story or mm-hmm. something to encourage somebody to tell their own story. That's a fact. Because he already know. He wouldn't have put me through it. I promise you, he would not have put me through it if I could not withstand it. Come on! I love you. Thank you for being so open and honest. Absolutely. I can't wait to be more open, like, with it. Because, like I said, all my adversity and everything, like I said, I was supposed to go through it. Mm. And the things that I've been through, like, it's like I... I should not look like this. There are mm. several times that I feel like, at least three times, I probably should have been dead. Mm. Like, there have been mm. some trying times, oh, and it was me. Like, God said, no, I'm not done with you. Mm. I'm not done with you. When it's going to be your time, it's going to be your time. Yes. It's not going to be what Sometimes, everybody yeah. thinks. It's not going to be that, because I have something special for you. Ain't that the part I always think about that, even with my own personal journey? It's mm-hmm. like, my blessings ain't gonna look like what you want them oh, to be. Oh, absolutely not. But they're gonna be exactly what God intended them mm-hmm. to be. And we're gonna have to all be all right with that. Mm-hmm. Amen. Come on now. We're gonna have to all be all right with that. Yeah. I look, pray for me. Do your yeah. good praying for me. But when yeah. the blessings come, no matter what they look like, you're gonna have to be all right with that. <laughs> I'm gonna switch the game on you, Latavia. Oh, I know you fucking lying. <laughs> okay. I know you're this gonna is pull funny. a card from this stack oh, here and it's gonna have a category on it. And immediately you're gonna have to say, I can name one thing in this category. Okay. okay? And the next person will say, Well, I can name two. And it's gonna go back and forth, back and forth until somebody thinks they full of shit. And then you're gonna call them out on it and say, I know you fucking lying. <laughs> if you are lying, you have to take a penalty. Usually they are in the forms of shots, but we're gonna do penalty cards. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do something strange. For a piece of change. <laughs> or just to finish the round. Yes. This, this one on food black folks. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm just saying. So if you say you can name seven, you gotta name seven in 30 seconds if I call you out. I can name one kind of soup. Very interesting start. Yeah. You gotta say if you can name two. I can only go for the next one. Yes, only the oh, next only number. Mm-hmm. I can name two. I can name three. I can name four. I got five. You gotta be quicker than that, Latavia. No, I no, I don't. You just, it's back and forth, back and no, forth. No, no, and I ain't no. You this, is not, this is not Aaliyah sitting up here with the back, back and forth and forth. <laughs> <laughs> back, back. No, we was listening back, back. We listened to the old you school. Stole it. Like, Do you have no. sex or not? No. Okay. <laughs> then I know you're fucking lying. <laughs> That's not how so, you're supposed so, to play so, this so game. I to give you six. Yes. Ready, set, go. What? Six kinds of soup. Okay, clam chowder, chicken and rice, tomato soup. Um, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, um, cream of celery, um, broccoli and cheese. Now, why does she just lie like that? Why did I lie? <laughs> now, because you the one that tried oh, to call me I just lie. named seven. Did Drink I- up. I just not even said, drink up. I just want to say, how did I get played? Just not because <laughs> no, look, You this ain't get played. Not- you did not get played. I love Usually you. Usually, Terrell the one doing the playing. Okay. okay. I do. Cause you seen the game before, and you said, I know how to get his money. I am playing his game. <laughs> I'm playing his game. He cannot be mad. Fine. Go ahead. And look, now look, 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 look. Yeah, Opa, me. Okay, so now, now it's my turn. Yeah, she played my life. I, you you didn't the one. You the one that pulled the point. You, you, you say you know it, and you know all the shit. I didn't say I didn't know what I had to think about it. I didn't say that as a man thinking. Celebrities with first name Kim. 
Okay, I can name two celebrities with the first Kim name Whitley. Kim. Kim Possible. You got to be quicker than that. No, I can't. Cause she's thinking you about cannot, it. You cannot rush great. You greatness. about to get a penalty you shot. You rush great. You about to get a penalty shot, Judge. I really need to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can name three. I got four. You got a penalty shot. You got to take a penalty <laughs> shot. Penalty, penalty, penalty. Now, Latavia, we ain't never seen nobody have to take a penalty shot. Elbow, this is new, girl. I ain't even know they had penalty shots. No, you didn't say you know what the number was. But you ain't playing this shot. But you're not going to tell me what. I can go through it right now. Okay, fine. You don't call me out. Here we go. Kim Coles. Kim, um... Uh, Kim uh, Kardashian, of course. Kim uh, Kim Whitley uh -huh. and Kim uh, Stone. This is Kim Stone. Uh, Kim Phyllis. Kim uh, uh, Kim Zoziak. <laughs> that was that was she was one of mine. Kim Parker. <laughs> is that a real thing? From the Parkers. Her name was Kim. Yeah. Yes. Oh Kim. Oh hey. Hey Kim. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey. Okay, I can name one currency. You traveled around the world, you should be good at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the most evil maniacal laugh I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole nother story. A whole nother show. That is a whole nother show. You got two? Yeah. I got three. You full of shit. With three? Yeah. All right. Ready? Yes. Go. The US dollar, the peso, the yen. Okay. Very good. And yeah. that is how it's done. Well, yeah, you can clap for me. Yes. You got to take the penalty shot. You lost I'm, it. I'm going to give you a snap. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to clap for you. Because you're trying to get me fucked up on this. Well, you can also take a penalty card. Nah, uh -uh. No, I'd rather take a <laughs> So I'm winning now because you have two penalties and I have one. You're not winning. Yeah, I'm winning, Latavia Roberts. And I'm winning. Come on, yes, put it right there. You're getting your spades head like. Yes, you it's about them. bluffing. You got to bluff better. I can name one Stevie Wonder song. Oh, I love this. I can name two. You picked these questions. I did not. I can name three. I got four. I can name five. I know you fucking lying. <laughs> I don't believe it a bit. Five. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? <laughs> She's a bad man pajama. <laughs> uh, Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, <laughs> Roxy, you're 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 making you're you're putting the pressure on me. Get up, get off the floor. Get up here. And give me my penalty card. <laughs> Shit. Give us your best or worst celebrity impression. You got one? Yeah. Oh, who is it? Oh my gosh, it has to be what I Let me do it and I'll try to guess who it is. <laughs> the Brown Baba. That was a great boxer. Who is this Russian lady? You damn right. She's Russian. Every time <laughs> I start talking about boxing, a white man got to pull Rocky Marciano out their house. Daphne Wood. Daphne Wood. Now Rocky she's Italian. Marciana. Rocky Marciano. I don't know. Is it a Russian Italian? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is it? Do you know who it is? Rocky. Are you talking about from the Rocky? Nope. Did, did anybody get Rocky it? Rocky Marciano was a great man. Is this about the movie Rocky? Because I ain't never seen that shit. Nope. <laughs> Coming to America, honey. Half the room didn't know what the <laughs> fuck was going on in this place. It said your best or worst. Okay. It didn't say best or worst. So, yeah. <laughs> I can name one movie starring Viola Bro. Davis. I can name two. <laughs> it's the way she is not playing this game the way no, it's supposed to be. No, like, it's because when it comes there and it's time, then you know all that. I'm a movie buff, and then when well, it comes... Well, you must know, too. Look it, look it, look it, look it. You She's know. taller. Okay. I know. <laughs> I got three. You full of shit. Follow David movie. You know, that's my girl. You done messed up. Fences. Yep. Um, doubt. 
I don't know that one. And um, the Woman King. Okay. I was gonna say uh, Suicide Squad. Yes. Yeah. That's your movie too. <laughs> oh, that's your that's your film, baby. That's your film. Mm, you messed up. You can only eat. Ain't it a movie food. with Viola Davis? And it's her and her son, and the brother got killed. And um, it's her and somebody, and it's like, yeah, because the girl is it's like, a- it's like her. Uh, her mind comes to it's life. Got, um, and Jennifer it's, Lopez in it. Yeah, yeah, and she trying to. She basically like. I can't remember the name of it. Jenny and no. It's Georgia like Jennifer Lopez somebody. is Jennifer Lopez is telling her what to do, and she's doing yeah. these things not knowing that she's not a real person. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. It's, it's Georgia something like that. Frankie I, and somebody or something. Yeah, like that. I could watch that again. Yeah, that was a good movie. For the rest of your life, which restaurant will you choose? Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Papa Do's. That ain't fast food. That's a, that gotta be a restaurant. I don't know fast ass shrimp. This <laughs> 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 ain't fast food. Del Taco. Hey. De- oh, now that's I was not expecting a Del Taco. Mm. No me. <laughs> They're really but good in late in the midnight hour. Yes, they are. Yeah, it's like right in that little Jack in the Box vibe. Oh, yeah. That's what I should have said because we don't have Jack. Oh, oh, I'm sorry for. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, I unearthed a spirit in you. <laughs> yes. No, because we Would don't have Jack in the Box. I'm telling you, when I used to go to the club, mm-hmm. them, 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 them two for 99 cent tacos. tacos. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. The Supreme Hallelujah. Ones, the Supreme ones that come with the salsa on and them. And don't already. let them have no fresh curly fries ready to go. Not the curly fries. We don't even have Jack in the Box. <laughs> don't even talk about Jack in the Box. Honey, don't talk about Jack in the Box. Because when me and baby first started dating and we used to go out, let me tell y'all something real quick. Let me tell y'all a little story. Living on the edge. The first time me and baby went to the club together, right? It was the week we got paid on opposite weeks. So the the week we went was the week she got paid. And we went to the club and this fool started a tab. Y'all, why we wake up the next morning? Huh? $200. Mm. Almost $300 tab, y'all. And we didn't even know it. Look, God, thank you, no, God. She had it was almost 200 Oh, it was almost 200 Yeah, it was almost 200 Okay, it was yeah. almost 200 That's still too damn much. An almost $200 tab, y'all. But me and baby used to get lit when we first started dating. That's when we was a little younger. But we also had a designator back then. Because when we sometimes we used to go out and... Yeah, Dequan we had a designated drive. driver. But, y'all, we used to go to Jack in the Box. <laughs> That's the only time we ever ate Jack in the Box. And it used to be so good in the middle of the night. We would get nuggets... Fries and, and a burger, big ass double cheese bacon burger, <laughs> and we'd just be sitting in the back seat as, in the parking in lot. The back seat, we <laughs> in the back seat, and her cousin driving. We in the back seat eating Jack in the Box. Just, I don't even just think gone, we, just don't even think we ever got nothing to drink. We would just be sitting there eating. <laughs> I don't think we did get nothing to drink. I don't remember nothing to drink. Ever nothing to drink. I don't remember ever having nothing to drink either. Darn. I don't remember drinking nothing when we got back to the house. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's how we started, y'all. We used to get wasted with each other. Can't do it now. Hell no. Mm-mm. 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 And then they used to call it that's Jack off in the box. Time. I was just like, why did you call it that? That is not what it was called. No, no, that's what they used to call it to be funny. Oh, I got very concerned <laughs> for the <laughs> <laughs> Things you keep hidden. Okay. Since, since we're breaking the rules. I, 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 reading it is not breaking the rules. It's part of it. <laughs> That's something you gotta read it. Okay, I can name two things you keep hidden. I can name three things. I've got four. I can name five. Yeah, I know you fucking lie. <laughs> five things you keep hidden. Go. My dirty clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what you have? Uh-huh. What my, a- my kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got 20 seconds. Uh, uh, my social security card. <laughs> you got to point down. Um, Hurry. 
Um, Girl! <laughs> your naked body. No, I know my name. <laughs> this is a pitiful shame. <laughs> How you came in five know and that. you keep hitting? You had it yourself. Because you was going to tell me that I was fucking lying. You told me to I do... already told you you was fucking lying. I All you had to do was name five and then it would have been my fault. <laughs> no, but y'all told me to put on my poker face. <laughs> 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 Tell you, pick up this red card and read whatever is on it. <laughs> you have been terrible at this game, and I love Thank it. Thank you. You are and so I welcome. Wear, and I wear it with honor. Yes. Oh, I love <laughs> no. this. No. I, I glance. Who was your R&B crush in the 90s? And who is your new school R&B crush now? Uh-huh. R&B crush in the 90s was Usher. New school R&B crush now. Whom? <laughs> <laughs> you make it even worse. Faces and physical. Like, who would you, like, uh, uh, your new school R&B man crush? Who you say? Um, I guess he would be <laughs> No, no, no. No, that's what they... Pick another damn car, shit! And what is something that your kids have heard you say and use against you. That's a good one. Yeah. I am I supposed to say that my four-year-old yeah. son cusses at me? Yeah, oh, you can say that. What does he say to you? What did he say last? <laughs> what he say? <laughs> he <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Whoa! <laughs> 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 He's a repeat offender, my son, yes. Who the hell he heard say that? Not me. I'm a saint. Well, who the hell said it to you? Me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, what is happening? I watch a lot of LMN and a lot of Lifetime, and they say that on there. What's LMN? Lifetime Movie Lifetime Network. Lifetime Movie Lifetime Network. Network. Yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> What's on there that, that they be cussing like that? Because it's always somebody, it's always kind of some scandal stuff. Shut up, bitch. That, like, they be saying that kind of stuff. Like, you can say that on there. And I... I, I what is your son's name? London, you better stop cussing at your damn mama. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell wrong with you? London, four years old. I don't even say that. He just turned four. He, he just turned four. He just... And don't you cuss at your mama no more. I'm gonna get the switch. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> if I ever heard him say that to you in my, I, I was just I, instinctively. I, 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 I already told you I'm good with that. Go ahead and light his little ass up. Y'all clap up and you're gonna light his little ass up. <laughs> now, Latavia, you were not good at that game. Okay. okay? Uh, so, yeah. I, you know, I couldn't Because I don't play games. You don't play? But you about to play that one. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Because I want to make sure. I thought Tia was bad at uh Oh yeah, at Tia that was game. terrible. You just <laughs> Tia you was just <laughs> she did good because Tia was wasted yeah. out for the game. Yeah, yeah. Well he needed full opportunity the of, to be uh, good at one of these games. Oh yeah, true. And she needed Tia needed the call. She needed the call. Okay. okay. All right. Well, so, don't, so, hold, don't hold your breath. This game is called Say My Name. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, on your screens right now, you're going to see a word that does not make any sense. Joe. The word doesn't make any sense because it's actually the scrambled up version of a musical artist. <laughs> All you're gonna do is tell me who this artist is supposed to be, and if you have trouble, I'll give you hints. Oh, Lord. Here's your first artist. This is easy. Come on. Who do you think that is? Joe. That is correct. The first artist is Joe. <laughs> What's your favorite Joe song? You got one. I want to know. That's a sad song. Oh, do I want to know that? Yes, you do. Tell me. I'll tell I you. I want to know. Come on. So I can what? So I can be, I can be all that. Get that okay, the flexibility is crazy. Okay. I wanna know. You better get that leg up there. <laughs> Said I got two kids. <laughs> Listen. Here's your next one. Ready? Go. Who that? Ask for a hint if you need one. Hint. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> sure. I'm thinking Las Vegas right now. Thinking Vegas. Mm -hmm. Who is sure? Mm -mm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking young 90s crush. You know what I mean? 
Oh, man. Be Rush? Usher. Yeah! Usher. Oh, yes. Usher. I, almost I don't know why the hell I'm saying his name. Usher. And you're on the phone. I guess Hang it's... up and you call <laughs> right back. Like, ah. sure. You got it, you got it back. He can do that falsetto by himself, because, baby, <laughs> listen, I'm a low, I'm a low tone girl. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Lord. Now, who is this supposed to be? Let me, hit, let me know. Not him, because it's just... Okay. Sometimes I feel like a fool. But I won't be a fool no more. I'm, I'm not gonna be no fool no more. I'm gonna be very the opposite of foolish. Like Ashanti. Foolish. Oh, okay. Cause I, I want to find it. Yeah. Lost me on that one. Definitely. Oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. Oh baby. Yeah. I am so sorry, and I am for real. Outcast. Mm. Never meant to make your Come on, I'm so sorry. Miss Jackson. Ooh. Miss Janet, I am so sorry. I'm for real. Sometime roses really strong. I was about, I was just about to ooh, say that. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Yes, come on. Why well, you, you you should be sure you name himself. Oh, okay, I mean, it's about to get harder. We're about to take a oh notch. Look at that. Now, who Boy, the hell? I kind of caught the joke. <laughs> See, I got you speaking Japanese now. <laughs> <laughs> OK, ready? Famous. Janet Jackson. Sibling. Hmm. They didn't even put the space in there. You know how many people got famous siblings? I was going to say, there could be You want another clue? I can give you more clues. Just ask another, another clue, man. You say another Michael. Another clue. See the last clue. <laughs> Janet Jackson. Uh -huh. See the last clue. And man, when I tell you about the state of the world today, it's really crazy. I really just, you know, need some more rhythm in this nation. Janet Jackson, <laughs> in control. Uh, I, uh, I, I just said, when I was 17, my mama always told me. Uh, 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 and like my mama said, I let my daddy mow me. <laughs> Janet Jackson was about control. Yes. You did well. Oh, well, thank I'm you for, proud of thank you. You for um, wrecking my brain. Yes. She, now, now do you feel oh, stimulated? I want to talk about um, R&B divas. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. What what happened was? Mm -hmm. Fix my hair. Latavia <laughs> La was on R&B divas. Yes, reality show. Yes. Um, should I just open the floor? Because the way that you give me all these looks and faces, what's all that about? What do you, was it that you want to know? Did you love that? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have your time. No. <laughs> you did not. No. I would have never guessed by the way that you reacted. What happened? Why was this so? So what were you expecting when you signed on to the reality show? When when I signed on to R&B Divas, what I was expecting was to be an open book. Mm. And just like I have been with you, um, I needed a platform. I just had my daughter. I needed some money. Mm. Things with me and my children. I was taking care of a child by myself. Mm. I didn't have the people that was coming, you know, to help me or whatever. I needed a coin. Mm. And so I didn't do it in vain, but I did it because I thought that I was going to be able to speak about a lot of things that were going on in my life. Reality TV to me, um, what that did for me was make me feel like reality TV was shit. And I knew that the next season, I was ready because I knew that I could stand my ground mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it went away. Mm. So then here I am again, back where nobody, okay, let's hobby is not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, you know, when, when do I get a break? Mm. When is it mm -hmm. something? And then I give something and I always try to be transparent to people. And then people take my kindness for weakness mm. and I cannot, stand that. So then I'd rather revert yeah. and become a hermit and not be in front of everybody. Doesn't matter how much I did, that, they painted a picture of me. And that is exactly what their <coughs> job titles me. entail. They, they are producing a show. They are producing a story. Mm -hmm. They got story producers that will take what actually happened and then create their own story. People forget how powerful yeah. and 
edit is. Mm -hmm. You can really, uh, don't underestimate how you can take something that happened in one situation and make it happen somewhere in Japan. It just. You could change the whole concept of whatever just by cutting out one part. Mm -hmm. Just by cutting out one part. Yeah. And watching it, you will never know that part was supposed to be there because it's a seamless cut. And she's not the first person to have said about mm -hmm. that, about being on a reality show. That anytime, they will... like, I feel like anytime somebody calls out for something they said on a reality show, that's the, that's what they say. They say they edit that. Like, that's not how I said it. You know, they flip yeah. it and put, put the shit together. And you'll never know that it was supposed to be a different way. Right. I could never you know be saying? on a reality show. Hell no. They shouldn't even be I'd called. I'd be fighting a damn producer. They shouldn't even be called a reality show because it's 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 fabricated. You you really just it's put hell. stuff together. So it's, it's hell. not real. Yeah. And imagine being young because a lot of young people watch it. I know I used to watch like yeah. love and hip hop and stuff when mm -hmm. I was younger. And you believe that stuff. Right. Like you don't know any anything else yep. you know what i'm saying but because it's reality tv so you think it's reality yeah you know what i'm saying until you hear people start speaking about how they edit it they right. flip it they take what you said and turn it into something else like and it sucks for those people because it's that crazy. will follow them like what reality tv does to some people mm -hmm. to their image will follow them even if they sit and clear it up she's telling us everything that she went through but it's probably still people out there that's probably like oh, you know it she just she just had to say that to make you it know look it. good blah, blah, and blah. they know they know what she's saying is true exactly it's sad because reality it's TV, crazy i, I couldn't because i'd be fighting producers yeah. they don't even care i fight producers the lighting people the makeup people the hair people i'm fighting everybody because don't play with me but then again you know they're gonna be like well you signed up for it you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, with the idea that you're going to keep it real. But yeah. I would like to know if you plan on cutting some shit, let me know what you cut. I need to know before the show come out. Let me know. Really? Yeah. I'm yes. so serious. You know what I mean? So I feel that. I understand that. Yeah. I used to work in that industry. So I, I it was really know. It was devastating. Yeah. Especially with mm -hmm. everything that had happened with the group. And then I'm finally back on TV and... I'm asked to be this person and I just had a baby. My daughter was six months old. And then you put mm, me on there to at the end of the day, make me look like a fool. I'm a work in progress every single day. Yeah. And you live and you learn from different experiences. Mm -hmm. And it's hard. Like, yeah. it, it, it's hard, especially because I've been on the outs for so long yeah. and all that. And then now coming back in, you know, people say harsh things yeah. about you and all that. But what is the what is the biggest misconception that people have today about Latavia Roberson? The one is that she's the bitter one. Mm. Mm. And I, yep. the reason why I've been told that I'm the bitter one is they said because she never put out music. I don't understand why that makes me bitter. No matter who it is, you, you've you lost something in your life journey. You had something that you loved and you lost it, whether that's a person, a job, or a, a dream, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And you have to grieve that moment, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, and you have to find a way to come out of it on the other side. Yes. And be content. And that yes. is a journey. Yes. Some and people never make it to that moment. Yeah. Do you feel like you're at that moment? Um, <clears throat> I don't feel like I'm at that moment entirely. Mm. And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. I want to do it perfectly. Um, I don't seek perfection mm -hmm. because the moment that I seek perfection is the moment that I will stop seeking God. It's a hard journey, but I, I have to trust. That little girl that was praying for her life when she was eight years old, to the grown woman today that still prays, is that prayer still as strong? Is your faith still as strong? Or has it? My my faith is stronger than that little girl, mm -hmm. but it's harder for me praying from that little girl to now. The reason why it's different for me is because I have children. Mm. Um, I've had two miscarriages mm. and I've had to 
deal with that. And um, I've always wanted children since I was 15. Wow. So it's a, it's a peaceful yet trying journey. You have an incredible story that started in the 90s. And <laughs> Not the 90s. In the 90s, baby. <laughs> and here we are in 2023. Yeah. And like you said, look at you. You look good, Thank baby. You. Okay. Thank I want to say you look good, bitch, but I don't want to be like your son say it, say it. and cuss you <laughs> look, out. Look, look right there and say it. You look good, bitch. I ain't here. <laughs> I ain't here. <laughs> bitch, you look the f good. <laughs> what does Latavia want to do next? What do you what do you see your life looking like in this next decade? What I love so much about my life now is that, yo, even though it might seem to people that I've taken a back seat, but I've taken a seat to be more behind the scenes, mm -hmm. more of the entrepreneurial road. Mm -hmm. um, I love my philanthropy work, my um, nonprofit foundation, Le, the Le Papillon Foundation, uh -huh. which is the butterfly in French. I'm of French descent with my family, but I love butterflies. Mm -hmm. And um, even with my, it, it's really about transformation. God does not put a stamp on when things are supposed to happen for you. Come on! I don't care. I love all my girls. I love them. I've supported every single project that every last one of them has mm -hmm. done. But when it's your time, mm -hmm. it's your time. Mm -hmm. And I always look at Oprah Winfrey and guess what? People always like, you should have put out an album. You should have did this. You should have did that. You mm -hmm. should have did that. No, I shouldn't have. Mm. Oprah didn't even start until she was in her 40s. So guess what? It's my time. It's your time. It's my it's time, time to shine. It's, time. it's my time to shine. Come on, baby. It's my time. It's my time. time. I love this. And that's this. really where I am in life. It's mm. not about what anybody can say about me. Like, I really can't care. I used to care so much. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's more about what I care about myself. I don't care what nobody else. I used to care about comments. I used to care about all that. I be checking no. on you, bro. Uh, we live in a world <laughs> of social no media. Mm. Yes. I where you, to do you that. see other people online no doing more. their thing, whatever, you know, and big ups to them. But sometimes it's hard not to compare. It's hard not to look and see what's out there. And you think, well, man, this person is my age or younger. And they're doing all of this. They're doing so much more. Man. Am I behind? Am I not good enough? Mm -hmm. Am I not studied enough? Am I not gifted enough? Is God not listening to me? <laughs> no. Right. Stop calling me out, Terrell. He do it every time. I don't know why you're surprised. Stop calling me. You've been calling me out all season. You've been calling me out all season. I'm scared to react to the ones that we done missed, to the, the episodes that we done missed, because Terrell's going to call me out again. Well. He just keep calling me out. I'm finna get my together, okay? I'm finna pick my camera up. I'm finna stop being a little bitch, and I'm finna stop being scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. I'm scared. I'm scared, and it's normal to be scared, but I'm just scared. I just keep calling me out, Lord. That timeline Sorry thing for the strong is a personal word, journey. Yes. Nobody should be comparing themselves to anybody. Not at all. I don't want to be nobody else but Terrell motherfucking Grice. Okay. Because I already know the shit I got to go through, and I'm used to my <laughs> shit, okay? I know how to manage my shit. You might have millions of dollars, but I don't know your shit, though, okay? okay. Yeah. What's your shit that you got to keep up with to make sure you keep that change? I don't know about it. Uh, hey! I'm going to give you one more word oh, to sing a song, <laughs> and we're going to get <clears throat> up out of here, okay? The word is happy! Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Latavia. Happy birthday to you. This guy. Birthday was, yeah, yeah, girl, yeah. but happy birthday. Happy birthday, baby. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank, mm, mm, thank you for being here. And I know this is not your birthday, but when this comes out, it will be. And I just wanted to do a little something okay, so special for you. Let you know time. how much we really do love you and we support you. And we want you to have the best 
birthday you can possibly have with lots of sugar and fat. And um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah! Give it one more time on the top of your It's the season six finale week, and we will see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Hello. everybody, it's Latavia Robeson. Thank you for watching The Terrell Show. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love you. Yes! Happy birthday! Go ahead, yeah. girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, 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 yes! Get your ass out this camera with that birthday. Happy birthday! Look, that way. look. Uh-huh, yes, look. Ooh, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, very good. Oh, we love. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it, man. That was good. That was really fun. Terrell is such a gem. I think he I said is. it in the last one, but you you have to think about it. Like, if she would have went on anybody else's show, you think they would have even gave a shit about her birthday coming let up. alone that it wasn't her birthday at the recording exactly but when they was gonna actually drop the episode you have to love terrell terrell is always gonna think Ahead. extra he's yes. gonna think extra he's he doesn't care that mm -mm. you know what you know he doesn't care about it he just he just does it from the kind and of you just have to just, love it like you how can you not love that you know what i'm saying how can you not love him terrell please be our friend please <laughs> Please be our friend. You can Please. be my life coach. I will be your personal <laughs> photographer. OMG. <laughs> like, you need a friend like Terrell. You life. need you a need friend. They don't make him like, like Terrell that. no more. No. Wow. They don't make him like him no more. These friends nowadays. I see why his friends, and I was just telling baby this the other day when we was reacting to like the making of the cookout um, episodes and stuff. And I was like, his friends show up. They do. They show up anytime he called them, want him to sing for something. They show up, and I see why because I know he show up for them. Right, I know he do, and and, and I love it. He probably shows up in the ways that you don't expect. So mm -hmm. it's it's probably more the little things mm -hmm. versus you know sometimes people feel like they have to be go big for you mm -hmm. know as a token of their gratitude and but sometimes just, it's the smallest yeah. thing that means a lot and i feel like he does that i feel like even he, he just to call somebody yep. just whatever like, i was about to say even when they don't call i know yeah. he's still showing up yeah he, i know he's showing up he's a gem i know he show up because i done seen on coco like coco jones like instagram or stuff like she might be having a show or Something going on in Terrell. He be there. And that's how friends supposed to be. Yeah. Let us know what y'all think about this episode down in the comments. I'm absolutely loving this finale week. Can't yeah. say can't wait to see uh tomorrow with LaToya and what's tomorrow? Wednesday? Thursday with Kelly. I really don't know what day it is. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. We love y'all and we appreciate y'all. We're going to catch y'all on the next video. We out.